ski resort. Today's video is brought to you by Melio. It's another day and we're on the mountain working. Today's a big day, actually. The drywall is done, so we're gonna get in here and clean everything, which is a big project, actually. And we take it seriously. We got tons of stuff here and four guys. We're gonna do that, prime all the walls, then we're gonna break down all of our scaffolding and all of our framing stuff. Jamie's got the big trailer and we're gonna get it all out of here so that, you know, we're onto the finishing phase of the house. Another day, another video. All right, guys, ready for this? Sure. Clean house. I know Ray didn't, I don't know if you clean house at home. I don't have time. Well, he's cleaning houses all day. That's the thing. I mean, we're out here cleaning every, oh. <laughs> Here's the crew and here's our slew of equipment that we need to get this place cleaned up. Three shot vacs and we're using... Vacuum bags. Vacuum bags, because if you don't, the filter on these things gets clogged like that and then so they don't fast. work. Pro tip, use a vacuum bag, don't get clogged. Nope. Let me just tell you, this is the second time, that two times <laughs> I have sent somebody to get rigid brand, let me start over. Rigid brand, rigid. there's really only one critical part to the bag, it's this rigid brand <laughs> bag. Twice now, people have foobarred me by coming back with these generic bags. Okay. In, in my defense, <laughs> I love one, huh? point you out. in my defense, dude, you know how many different bags there are? There's like right. a thousand. Right. And so the man comes to help you and he's helping oh. and he picks this one and that one. And he goes, these would be the best. And then you get home and guess what? It, it doesn't, doesn't say, say rigid. rigid. <laughs> Yeah, well then I gotta, it takes me 15 minutes to make one of these generic bags fit. Hey, you told me it was no big deal. I lied. <laughs> it was a big deal. Wow, now I know it really pisses Jamie off. <laughs> but I don't know about you that. Much do anything. Just don't buy the wrong bags, I'll tell you that much. Speaking of drywall, there's the man, Rex Price. <laughs> Yeah. He's here after, what do you need? I need some money. You need money. money. Oh, can I give you a check? You know who I think would want that? Ray. Ray J. Bilderberg score. Free material. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We have the drywall guys leave us all these buckets from the joint compound because they're great for filling full of uh, kindling or scrap, getting them to the dump, or just washing your paintbrushes or anything. And these are like five bucks each if you got to buy them at a store. So we just use those. We have a smooth finish on the walls. Drywall Check. guys, they call that slick. The ceilings, we used a very light texture. We call this a knockdown. They basically spray like a light orange peel. They get a little bit of stuff there. A light yeah. <laughs> orange peel, and then they knock it down with a rubbery trowel. The reason we do that is to texture it and use a flat paint. It helps to hide any imperfections. If you don't know, it is next to impossible to get a slick ceiling with a lot of light coming in from different directions to not show any imperfection. Right. It's it would be very hard to get a good looking paint I don't know. It. I don't know how you would do it. Right. And if you ever had to touch it up in a spot, you would see it. Yeah. We don't want to see it. So there's good reasons to do textured ceilings. And a, and a light texture doesn't look bad, I don't think. You'll actually hardly notice the texture when it's done. Right. It's, it's, it's hard to see. There's one tricky spot to vacuum. I'm just gonna use this leftover piece of wood and try to, you know, work this dust out of there and then vacuum it up at the bottom. <laughs> hey, I got a job for you, Jay. <laughs> Let's take just a second to thank our sponsor for today's video, Melio. And actually, if you're a small business owner and you like having extra cash in your business account and you hate writing checks to all of your vendors, you should really watch this. If you haven't heard of Melio before, it's a free business to business online payment platform tailored to small businesses. The best feature for us as a small business is that we can actually pay vendors that don't accept credit cards with a credit card through Melio, and that'll give us an extra 45 days to float cash until the bank pays us for the house. So 
this is the only way that I know how to do this. And Melio just charges 2.9% to do this type of transaction. First, you select how you'd like your vendor to be paid. Next, you select how you would like to pay them. Next, you simply schedule the payment and let Melio do the rest. It's that easy. Melio has a multi-client dashboard and powerful features like seamless two-way sync with QuickBooks online. They also have free ACH payments, which is bank to bank and mail checks. And just to be clear, there's no sign up fee. There's no monthly fee. There's no fee other than if you use a credit card using Melio. You can pay your vendors through a bank transfer for free, or you can use a credit card and defer your payment and earn cash or points or whatever you have on your card for 2.9%. If you're ready to streamline your business payments, click the link in our description or go to Melio.com online to start your free account. All the vacuum is done. Now it's time to cover up the windows. I like to use four mil clear plastic so you still have light coming in the windows and I roll the edges into a little gasket and I staple it about every four inches. That ensures that none of that blow through from the paint sprayer is gonna get on my windows. Hate that blow through. Gosh. Hate it. It's a thing. If you're doing something like this for yourself, I would make sure to swipe out the corners with a broom like that, because the drywall dust can tend to get, I don't know, slung and stick in those corners. And when you go to paint and prime, it, the primer doesn't stick to the wall, it sticks to the dust and the dust can fall off. So that's one thing we're doing here too, is just hit those, wiping it out, make sure there's no dust. Lunchtime. Street tacos. Huh? Jordan. Did it go? Absolutely. You know what's really ironic? What? The first day we get to work inside, it's like 65 degrees outside. I know. Isn't that stupid? First <laughs> like, day I'm able to wear a t-shirt to work. I mean, come on. Shoulders are burning, man. <laughs> Am I paying you to do shrugs right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, Ellis, we've got two sprayers. We've got the Titan, which is the newer one, even though it doesn't look new anymore. And the Spray Tech, the older one. And two of us, one, two, we're gonna set one of these up per floor with a uh, primer. We're gonna go crazy, two teams, get it done. Ray, we're gonna check out our paint tip box, which is just a toolbox with sprayers and a bunch of oil that leaked out and uh, spray tips for our gun. So you'll notice, these have different numbers. That's a 515, what you got there? A 413, uh, we got another one coming in. Um, 517, what does all this mean, Ray? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Okay. The five, the first of the numbers, is half of the fan width. So a 517 will spray a 10 inch wide spray pattern, while the 413 will spray an eight inch wide pattern. Twice four is eight. And then the other number is the orifice size. So a 515 is a 10 inch spray pattern with a 15 one thousandths of an inch orifice. It's, it's complicated. Yeah. So we want a lot of flow and a wide fan. So I think we're gonna go 517 for this one. Bingo. Got another one here. And another one there. That's your respirator? Isn't this a, <laughs> this is not a respirator? I think we're all ready. Yeah, buddy. Just we're all set. Can't breathe. <laughs> Where are you gonna start? All right, we're gonna do these two bathrooms first because they got this blue board on the wall. 
It's gonna take two coats of primer to cover the blue color. So we'll do that first, we'll do all the rest of it, and then it'll be dry enough to second coat the blue. Real man genius there. right there, Bob. I need to... Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> I got that on there tight. I don't think maybe the gasket is bad. But uh, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> As we're doing this, you may notice you can still kind of see through the primer just a little. That's okay. Uh, it's not the finished coat of paint. It's just to seal the paper on the drywall and give us a surface we can sand, make everything smooth. But the last thing you want to do is get it on there so heavy that it runs, that would really actually cause a lot of problems. finish up our prime job we need to do the hardest part we saved it for last the ceiling in the stairwell above the stairs and we're going to use a new tool from northern tool and equipment we have this 13 foot telescoping metal work plank from metal tech and it shrinks back down to eight feet which is nice so we can carry it in and out of the house so if you didn't know northern tool and equipment has just about everything you would need to build a house from generators to scaffolding to work planks to hand tools thank you to northern tool and equipment Let's get this thing set up. Oh. There you go. Good. Got it. Right gun. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I should get in my truck and like turn the defrost on or something. What do you think? Bro. No? <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I hope that was worth it. <laughs> sort of painted. Oh well. Prime is done. Well, our floor at least. I still, yeah. I still hear them going. They're still going. A little slower, but you know, that's what it is. So we're gonna break down this scaffolding now. We don't need it here and uh, may as well be sitting in our garage. Yeah. Set it here. So uh gonna get it on this trailer, take it to the house. That's a trailer load of fun right there, guys. That's heavy. You know, you think that Dodge is gonna be able to handle this? I mean, it's all downhill. I know. Maybe we should hitch it to the Ford. Make sure he goes, <laughs> make sure he goes in front of me. All yeah. <laughs> It's been another great day on the mountain. We've got all the walls primed. And tomorrow we're gonna to come back and sand all the walls so they're smooth before we paint them. We're also gonna spray the ceilings tomorrow and then we'll be ready for trim in no time. Thanks for building with us today. We'll see you next time. Thanks for vacuuming all day long with me. I felt like I was at home. <laughs> Hey, thanks to everyone who's been following our build up here on the farmhouse. We really appreciate it. Make sure to click the link in our description to check out Melio. Go ahead to the house.